Hey everybody, welcome to Oregon Outdoors. I'm your host, Eugene Branham. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about where to go to catch bass on the Columbia River. Uh, my answer to those people is anywhere. Uh, in this episode, we're gonna start in Hood River, Oregon. We're literally gonna drive down I-84 and we're gonna hit all the sloughs, the little back eddies. We're gonna hit the main Columbia River. Basically anywhere that I think looks like a really good spot to catch bass. Um, there really is no special spot to catch bass per se. It's just a matter of getting out there, putting your line in the water and, you know, ripping lips. Um, it's a little bit windy today. That's actually a lot windy today and overcast. So we might have a little harder time trying to get the bite going, but you know, you never know. The bite could be hot on days that you wouldn't think it would be. So there's that. Um, today I'm basically mainly going to be pulling crankbaits and uh, yeah. We are in the port of the Hood River. It's where they do like all their windsurfing and it's called the Hood River Water Play. If anybody's interested, that's where we're at. Um, we're just going to walk down to the river and give it a start and see what happens. See if we can't get the fish on. I would also like to thank everybody for liking and subscribing our YouTube channel. Um, that's mucho appreciated. I very much appreciate that. Uh, I wouldn't be wanting to put, put up more videos without you guys who want to watch and learn and retain information on Oregon outdoors activities and adventures. So yeah, uh, let's walk down to the river and see if we can't catch fish. fishing spot. Uh, since it's a little overcast today, uh, it's not quite as windy as I thought it was going to be, but uh, since it's overcast today, I am going to put on a silver Wee Wiggler by Brad's Wigglers. Uh, it's a really good bass plug. Uh, let's give a couple casts here and see what we can't do. Like I've said before, the key to bass fishing is basically pitching it and fan. I pretend like there's a clock in front of me. So start out at noon, and then I'll pitch out to one, two, three maybe even, and then I'll go back to 12, and then I'll go 11, 10, 9. So that way it creates a nice even fan pattern, so that way you're using up the majority of the area you're fishing, and not just one spot constantly. There's a fish. Yeah, all right. Hell yeah, there's our very first fish of the day. Little guy. Not too bad though. Little guy. Stop now so I can get my thumb in your mouth. Little guy. Right on. Look at that. First fish of the day on our silver Wee Wiggler from Brad's Wigglers. Right on, number one. So another thing about bass fishing is you don't want to spend too much time in one spot. I mean, 10 casts, 12 casts in one spot, and you're good. You know, move, move down the river another 12, you know 17 feet 20 feet even just to give another angle at the water you also don't want to use the same lure for too long I've been out here oh I don't know probably 20 minutes now and I've only caught one fish on the silver wee wiggler so I'm gonna make another two casts and then I'm gonna go ahead and change up to another crankbait Okay, 
So I have been using this plug right here for the last, oh, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes. And we've only caught one fish on it. It is the Silver Wee Wiggler by Bratz. It's a great lure, but the colors are just not working today. We've only had one fish in about a half hour. So we're going to switch up right now to something else. Um, I think I'm going to switch up to something a little more bright, I think. Instead of flashy, I'm just going to go with bright. So I think I'm going to take this guy right here. It's the Clatter Tad by Heaton. It's a great, great plug. I've caught lots of bass on these. Um, let's see if we can't catch something on it right now. After this spot that we're on right now, we're going to go ahead and get back in the car. and We're going to drive a little bit further down I-84 and find another spot for us to fish. Here we are, we are back at the car. Uh, we're done at our first fishing spot that we went to. We caught one fish and we caught him on the Silver Wee Wiggler by Brad's. Uh, we went ahead and we put on this guy right here. It's the Clatter Tad by Heaton. It's a great lure. I've caught all kinds of fish on it. I've caught salmon on it, I've caught steelhead on it, bass, and all kinds of stuff. So I uh, put this guy on there and hopefully uh, we can catch another fish at our next spot. All right. So the second spot we're going to come to is the Hood River Boat Marina. Um, like I said, bass like a lot of structures and foliage and weeds and stuff like that. Well, down here there's a lot of docks and rocks and there's a big old point out there that looks like it's going to be a good spot. Well, that might be our third area we go to. So uh, stay tuned. Let's see if we can't catch another fish. about 20 casts with this Heaton Clatter Tad and to be honest with you I haven't had much luck with it. It's, uh, it doesn't seem to be doing the trick. So as soon as I reel this cast in I'm gonna go ahead and switch up baits and see if we can't catch any other fish. Alright I'm gonna go ahead and trade in the Clatter Tad for one of the very original floating Rapalas. I've had this in my box for a long time. My father's had this in his box for a long time. It's caught a lot of freaking fish. So uh, let's put it on and see how it does. So, this jerk bait was a little bit too light. It's a little too windy for the jerk bait. <sighs> I'm having a hard time deciphering what I want to use here. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and put on the crawdad. Can anybody see that? Boom, the crawdad lure. It's made by Rebel, so it's made by, it's a great lure. Um, hopefully, imitate some crawdads and See if we can't hook into something. The sun's finally starting to come out a little bit. If you can see right over there, that's where we were fishing at before, right in that area. So we moved over here on this big jetty that we were talking about doing before. So we're gonna come down here in this little spot, look at right down there, and see if we can't catch some bass.
go ahead and switch baits again. Um, I've been fishing with the crawfish from Rebel. It's a great plug. I've been fishing with it for about, oh, I don't know, right in the lines of 20 minutes or so. I don't like to stick with one plug for too long. I just feel like if you switch up more, you're going to have more of a chance of catching a fish. Because if they're not biting on one thing, they're not going to be biting on it forever, you know, or for the rest of the day, you know what I'm saying? Um, I caught one fish on the crawfish, so it was a successful lure. But uh, I'm just not getting the numbers I'm wanting with it, so we are going to swap this guy out, the crawfish from Rebel, for a flicker shad. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not sure who makes the flicker shad, but uh, it's a great crankbait. It, it catches a lot of fish. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this one on, and the next spot I go down by the river, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot and see if we can't catch anything. All right, so I went ahead and I took the flicker shad off of here. It was just diving way too deep. I mean, it's deep out there, but the weeds five feet from the bank are so thick that I just kept, I couldn't get a good plug through the weeds. So I went ahead and took that one off and I put on a blue fox number three spinnerbait. Um, honestly, spinnerbaits were great for bass. Um, I'm having a hard time today because it's so overcast and it's kind of rainy, drizzly. And I'm just not sure what they're hitting on when it's overcast right now. And the water is still a little bit cold and bass are more aggressive when the water is warmer. So when the water... All right, day one of the I-84 bass fishing is in the books. Uh, it's getting late. Um, I'm ready to go home and have some grub. Um, tomorrow after work, I'm gonna hit it again and we'll hit some more spots along I-84. And hopefully everybody uh, enjoys this content. Like and subscribe. See you tomorrow. Hey everybody, welcome to day two of bass fishing I-84. Uh, today I got my partner in crime here, Wyatt Branham. Uh, as you can tell behind us, the I-84 is still right behind us. We haven't left the freeway and we're going to be down here and seeing if we can't hook into a bass. What yeah. kind of lure are you going to start out with today, Wyatt? Um, a bass one. A bass one? Yeah. And can, guys, you, can you show everybody what you're going to use for your lure up there? Right. There, Wyatt's got himself a chartreuse rattle trap. Yeah, and guys, I busted my, um, uh, my elbow. Busted your elbow? Yeah, remember I, like, I was walking? Oh, yeah, and you fell? Yeah. Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, guys. So, he got, he, in other words, he's trying to say, be careful when you're walking down to your fishing spots, everybody, because the rocks can be dangerous and slippery. Yeah, and I hope you guys bust your face open. Right? That would be bad, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. And, and then they would be dead. Yeah, we wouldn't want that, would we? Dad, I wish we could go fish up there in those mountains. That would be sick. That would be sick, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to cast out, see if we can't catch a couple bass. Yeah. We'll see you later.
Caught him on the silver wee wiggler by Brad's. Uh, with the sun out like it is today, I couldn't ask for a better lure. It's a great fish. And let's see if we can't catch any more. Number one. Silver Wee Wigglers by Brad's. Um, I went ahead and decided to use this lure today because it is super sunshiny outside. It's bright out, it's windy, but I feel that these bright colors on this Wee Wiggler are just absolutely hammering it. Number two, and we've only been here 15 minutes. Right on, number two. All right, everybody, Wyatt and I are walking to our next fishing spot. Uh, I've got two under my belt. Mr. Wyatt here has had no luck so far, but I'm pretty sure at the next spot he's bound to catch one. It's his turn to catch one. I think it's going to happen. Uh, ID4 is still right there. Everybody can still see it. So we're still, we're still fishing ID4 spots, and uh, we've been here maybe... Oh shit, I don't know. 35, 40 minutes now, we've caught two fish. Uh, we sat at that one, our first spot, a little bit longer than I like to, uh, just cause it's a little bit easier to move around with Wyatt when we stayed in one spot a little bit longer than normal. But we're moving to our second one and uh, hopefully Wyatt can catch into a big fatty. Right, son? Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we are at our second spot. Yeah. I'm gonna take Wyatt's chartreuse rattle trap here we're gonna take it off and we are gonna put on a blue and silver wee wiggler it's got silver on the bottom and then blue and red on the top um, it's very close to what I'm using um, I think it'll 
bump up Wyatt's chances of catching a fish since the lures are very similar in color with this bright sun out. Um, yeah, so let's stick it on there and see what happens. excellent day of fishing today um, we caught several fish Wyatt caught the biggest fish of the day um, our number one lure that we seem to catch most of our fish on was the silver wee wiggler by Brad's Wigglers um, it was by far the best lure that we used hands down for this uh, adventure um, I'm gonna post all the links down below for all the lures that we used that caught fish and uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that like button and Oregon Outdoors will bring more content and videos for everybody to enjoy. Peace.